Okay, so hey YouTube, it's Crazy for Hermit Crabs here, and today I'm going to be, make, to be making a video on male hermit crabs versus female hermit crabs, like telling the difference between them. So let's start. So males, the only difference that I know that is like the best of telling is the gonopores. I think that's I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but so the male doesn't have any gonopores, and um. Where you would look is you would look right here, and there's no little circles, and that's how you know that it's a male. But with the female, the female does have gonopores. If you can see right there, there's tiny, tiny, tiny little dots in the crab's um, body. So that's one way you know. And the second way, which is obvious, that the female lays eggs. So that's how you know about that, but I don't know if that's the most common way. This is the most common way that I know, and that's how I check and see if my hermit crabs are. So a lot of people, I've watched some videos on YouTube of false ways to tell. Like some people are saying, like this is how you can tell, and one of the most common that I hear is the female will always be bigger. You actually don't know that because they're all caught in the wild. So, you don't know if one's older, so it could just be bigger because it's older. Or if you don't know one's younger, it could be smaller, so you would think that was a male because it's smaller. So, you can't really tell. And they always say the female will be lighter. That's it, false because they hermit crabs have different colors. So, that's not true either. So, if you have any other ways that are correct um, to tell the difference between them, I'd love to know. So, just comment them in the comment section. So, thanks for watching. I hope I helped anyone who was having any questions and comment for more video requests because I need new videos to make and like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.